how was that for you? I'm sure you would have come here for the W, but always good to come through injury free, no doubt. Yeah, um, I'm really happy with that race. Actually, I just got here yesterday, like a couple of, maybe a day and a half ago. And so I'm fresh off the plane, not sleeping well, and the meet is not at night, which would have been favorable for anyone coming from America. And we don't have rounds either, so it's just a one-off. And I'm really happy with that because typically in a round setting, I always run better, especially indoors, because I need that, that first round to kind of knock the cobwebs out. But, you know, I'm happy with that. 58 off the plane, couldn't be more happy. You um, did well in the U.S. Champs and obviously got onto the team for the World Indoor Championships later on this week. Talk to me about that competition and what you expect from yourself at the end of this week. Well, that competition is obviously very fierce. Um, you know, running against anybody in America, it's always a threat, especially in the hurdles because anything can happen. And then on top of that, you have some of the best hurdlers in the world competing that are at our national championships. And just to come out there and run a season's best, 746, and make the team, couldn't be more thrilled. What do you expect from yourself at the World Indoors? <laughs> um, hopefully, I expect to be on the podium, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what color. I don't care as long as I'm there, <laughs> as long as I'm on the podium, you know, because indoors has never really been my thing. Um, I did win one time, and that was a shocker for sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm just really thrilled to be able to run in the seven fours, and because that means outdoors, I'm really going to be ready to run 12 seconds again. So that's all that matters. And obviously, you're targeting the Diamond League outdoors this season, right? Of course, of course. Do you expect to win that? Um, we'll see, because um, I don't know if I'm going to run the full schedule because there's Europeans and there's a very long gap in between the second half because of Europeans. So there's like a six, six to eight week gap. And I don't know. We'll see. That's a long time to be training. <laughs> so I was going to say, how do you keep busy? Because I saw that in the calendar and I was like, I don't know what you guys do in, in that time there. What typically would you do? Or is it quite unusual? Yeah, I mean, typically we would train through anyway and just come back and be really rusty. <laughs> so, but we'll see what happens for sure. All right. Well, good luck. Everything.